Here is a summary of the discrete distributions that have been surveyed in this chapter. The first distribution is the Bernoulli distribution. It has a single parameter P and going across here the column headings are F of X which is the probability mass function. The support values which for the Bernoulli are just 0 and 1 where 1 is generically referred to as success and 0 is generically referred to as failure. The population mean of the distribution which for the Bernoulli is just P and the population variance of the distribution which for the Bernoulli is P times 1 minus P. Now the Bernoulli distribution leads to something which is known as a Bernoulli trial and those Bernoulli trials lead to the next three distributions namely the binomial, the geometric and the negative binomial. In the case of a binomial random variable you have two parameters n which is a positive integer and p which is the probability of success on each Bernoulli trial and the binomial distribution models the number of successes in n mutually independent Bernoulli trials each with probability of success p. The next distribution is the geometric distribution. It has a single parameter p that is between 0 and 1 and it models the number of failures before the first success in repeated independent Bernoulli trials. Now notice that the support of the geometric starts at 0 and that's why there is a little g here. If this were geometric with a capital G then the support would start at 1 and it would model the trial number of the first success in repeated independent Bernoulli trials. In the textbook the geometric distribution with a capital G is included in this table. The next distribution is the negative binomial distribution. It has two parameters R and P. It models the number of failures before the rth success in repeated independent Bernoulli trials each with probability of success P. And this has a lowercase n on the negative binomial which means its support starts at 0. If you had an uppercase n here then the negative binomial would model the trial number of the rth success and that trial number begins right here at R so the support would start at R. The next distribution is the Poisson distribution and the Poisson distribution has a single parameter lambda. It can be viewed as the limiting distribution of the binomial as n goes to infinity or it can be looked at in the context of Poisson processes. It's an interesting distribution in that its mean and its variance are identical. The last section devoted to uh, one distribution was the hypergeometric distribution. It has three parameters. The middle parameter here, capital N, at least in acceptance sampling, is referred to as the lot size. The third parameter, lowercase n, is referred to as the sample size. And the M parameter here refers to the number of successes in the lot. In addition we covered a few other distributions and the first of those distributions is the discrete uniform distribution equally likely values between A and B. The second distribution was the distribution of what is known as the leading dis digit in a data set and that is Benford's distribution sometimes known as Benford's law. Then the next distribution that covers the case of popular and obscure items is the zip distribution. And that last distribution that we covered on the previous page actually is a special case of something known as the beta binomial distribution. We'll give a little more detail to that in the next chapter. So this is the summary slide of all of the distributions that were covered in this chapter on discrete distributions. The next chapter covers popular continuous distributions.